All right, here we're looking at a Toachman Sports Coach 411TS. It's a 2024 model at the 2024 FRVTA Florida RV Super Show. And look at the color, it's like a red, white, and gray paint scheme. Uh, we're going to take a quick look at the outside of this coach and then go inside and see what the inside has to offer. Here is all the uh, specifications for this unit as well as the floor plan. And this is the show price today. So you may not get the same price at your local dealer, but hey, you can always haggle. All right, and here is your exterior TV. I do not see a sound bar, but anyway, you see here's one bay right here. This is not passed through. And here we have another bay with a slide out tray. And this one is another bay here. This is a raised rail chassis. And these doors for new are actually closing fairly easily. You can see here's a very, I think it must be one of your holding tanks up there. Pass through. Nothing there, and here's another interesting, this door opens this way. A nice bit of storage right there. And here we go. This is not a storage compartment. This is actually where your DEF tank is. It's interesting that the DEF is on this side. Now, there actually is what looks like a Dometic uh, tankless hot water system here. And this, this actually, if I can move the stand here, this uh, this bay right here opens up, and there's some electronics here, and plus a small small storage bay over there. Now, on the back end of this, we have a beautiful tap. You look at that design back there, and this is a rear radiator coach. And there's not too many coaches here we can actually get on both sides, but there's your access to your engine compartment that way and here is your transfer switch and your electrical hookup in free rides with every purchase and here's your propane tank and your house and starting batteries this is another vertically opening door with another similarly sized storage compartment and here is your utility wet bay for your sewer fresh water connections. And there's another bay. It's actually got a little uh, dump valve on that one. Now what at all, this actually comes with a whole bunch of free tools. No, just hitting folks. This is the other side of the bay here. The other side of the slide out tray with, right now you see all the tools you can get in there. Uh, here is another vertical opening door. Wow, look at all the stuff you can get in there. And last one here, you see your generator exhaust here, and also access to your hydraulic leveling system reservoir. And here's another view of the front cap from this side. Okay, this is a propane coach. You can see right there, there's your uh, furnace output. It looks like there's actually another furnace back in the rear. That's interesting. Dual furnaces. All right, well, let's see. Go into the inside now. Let's open the front door and see what it has to offer. All right, coming inside, you see we have our little main emergency power, main power shutoff. We have a little tubby here on the passenger side. And, uh, oh, look. Oh, boy, it's Marie. How you doing, dear? Hi, good morning. It's a nice little side. They did, this coach is decorated for Valentine's Day. But over here we have our backup camera and radio. Radio controls are underneath, and you got two nice little cup holders. You got USB port, 120 volt, and a nice little drawer to store some things in. Well, I don't know, the, uh, it's a charging center. Yes, the with whole four charging USB. center, yeah. right? Isn't that cool? Yeah. And then you have your sun visor and some light controls up here, your radio control and... Uh, what do you use this little thing for, you think? That's you put your change in. You could put... It, it's too, not deep enough for a phone, but I would probably put change in there or... A, Maybe sunglasses? A receipt for a toll. Yeah, you put sunglasses in there. Mm -hmm. And this does have a digital dash, but right now this is the... Uh, 
simulated digital dash display. Right, and you do have your normal uh, controls here on the side. And this is uh, actually normal for a Freightliner. Right, right. This is Freightliner using the uh, Mercedes-Benz style controls to shift from drive to reverse to neutral, etc. Right, and you have all your phone controls right here, and you know you have your uh, your blah? Yeah, your blah. <laughs> Cruise control, etc. on the steering wheel. I like the blah better. <laughs> yeah, just lost my mind. We do have our, our jack system here to level our jacks. And we do have a map light and auxiliary start and a horn switch here and our mirror controls there. It's actually our first coach walk through the morning, so it's Saturday and it's cold and we're... Yeah, it is quite cold. We're uh, still warming up, I guess. Okay, yeah, we're warming up with you guys. Have, have your coffee and follow us along today. So we do have a very large cabinet with three doors. And on either side, there's a cubby. That you can't access from here, but it's really meant for the bed of, up top here, the loft. Oh, you're so, feeling kind of lofty, huh? Kind of feeling kind of lazy. I want to be back in bed. But anyway, you do have a bed here that comes down. I'm sure somewhere back there we'll run into the ladder for it. Yes, with 500 pound capacity, I might add. All right. I guess we'll both fit up there in case we want something different. Okay, up here we have a cabinet with very long thing pass through. So three doors, one B cabinet. We do have recliners that are electric. And we also have a nice little storage area here. And with a USB port. Exactly. So you can do everything here. These are lighted. I, I'm not sure. I think these are lighted. Well, they're not on right now. Right now, because the power, the power is not on. Right. Over here, we have a uh, jackknife sofa. And uh, it must open up a very different way. I couldn't quite figure it out. Well, maybe it's not. Maybe it's, no, it's, it is a, sofa. it's a trifold. It may be a trifold. It I, uh, is a trifold. It is, yeah. Is that what it is? I, I couldn't figure yeah. out how to open it. I tried a few well, times. Well, basically, you see, basically, you put these cushions out of the way here. Right. And that oh, there it goes. That there it goes. Okay. okay, I just okay. didn't pull it hard. I know it was a bed because I could see the mattress yeah. back here. Yeah. Sometimes it's really hard to figure these things out, folks. Okay, over here we have our TV set. That's a very large TV. Yeah, that's I'd a nice size probably TV. Probably about wow. 65 inch. Maybe. Yeah, it's probably at least a 60 inch couch, so it probably is. And then it's right across from the recliners, which I always love. Well, yeah, nice perspective here. We sit down here and we can actually see the TV. Although it seems that it seems that the top of the cushions do cut off the bottom of the TV. Eh, just a little by bit. By about a couple inches. Not too much. Well, okay. here we have the booth dinette here. Yes. Let's have some wine and celebrate Valentine's Day. Look at these cute little, for those that like the decorating part of our videos, Oh, wow, they must have glued everything together. I guess they didn't want you to walk any off with anything. They have heart-shaped placemats, cute little cheesecake with little chocolate and strawberries on it, you know. Wow. Placemat. And they got everything kind of stuck. They, oh, you're using tape. They're trying to keep it all nice and neat. I'm sure everybody picks it up like me. Well, it's interesting to have these day-night <laughs> shades that are similar yeah. to the ones we saw in the Euro. Yeah, it does. Ooh, now, does I found a present. Oh. Empty water bottles. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, does this Guess he was very bad for Valentine's Day. Does this Day. have storage underneath the cushions? It has, actually does. It has two drawers, and they're quite long. Yeah, but uh, how do you open them? Some of them give you short drawers, but uh, these are a decent, little bit I, more I long. don't think this drawer opens over here. I tried pulling it open. It was, I just, I didn't want to break anything, but yeah. I don't think there's a drawer under there. There may not be. I saw the handle and assumed. Well, let's see. But you can access it. There yeah, is a so this side. It Actually, the story a handle, there. but it does not have a drawer, which is rather deceptive. Why bother having a handle at all, except for a step? Symmetry, yeah, exactly. It won't but it does body. make it into a bed. And like, there's a little storage under there that you can work around some things that are under there. I, I don't think there's a booth done yet uh, that is out there that doesn't make it into a bed. Uh, that's the whole purpose of a booth done yet. Okay. Up top here, we have our convection microwave. Or some people say microwave convention, but it's either way, it's right? Okay. We have two cabinets here, or one big cabinet with four doors. Plenty of space for dishes. I don't see any shelves. No shelves, though. No shelves. I'd probably be one of the first things I would modify if I had this coach. I'd probably put some shelves in there. At least one, you know? Well, here we have our farm-style residential sink here. Here we have my coffee. Have your coffee. <laughs> Really cute how they decorate these. Look at this. You hold the key to my heart from the RV keys. 
Well, here we have a little storage beneath the sink right here. Yeah, th these are fake here, so you only have these two yes. top shelves. You also have this space here. You got two shelves here and a longer yeah, space there. Yeah, you put there. some baking pans in there and whatnot. Uh -huh. You do have an induction top stove, and you have four cabinets beneath it. And, uh-huh. Mm -hmm. And uh, I thought they're both the same. Yep, the same. they're all the same. Some manufacturers have drawer... Uh, Drawer, front. drawer fronts that are not real. I mean, they're just for decoration. Over here, we have, guess what? Some electronics or yes, switches for your, mm -hmm. this doesn't, doesn't have, a, looks like a touch and control. So all your slide outs are on switches and stuff. And some people liked it that way. Uh, you know, some people don't like the touch technology. Right. Okay, we do have a refrigerator behind the dinette booth. And that's a nice size residential. And freezer, refrigerator. Mm -hmm. Okay. And right across the way. Is this the bathroom or a closet? This is the bathroom. And I actually oh. thought this was a door I know, for a few just minutes. Very <laughs> but oh, this is actually go. a half bath. It does have a medicine cabinet with a fixed shelf, as well as this side here, which is also, well, actually, yeah, the no, fixed they're shelf. They're fixed. They're fixed. And you got your outlet here, a light switch here. And down below, you got the storage space there with the drain. And you also got two cubbies over here. All right, how's the business position there? Eh, it's fine, I got a little extra room. Mm -hmm. Kind of interesting to have a little light up here uh, that really illuminates. Wow, it's that is a bright light. It is yeah. bright. And we have a fan above too in the bathroom, but what bathroom doesn't have one? It does have one, right? Okay, as Ben was saying before, I go across the way here. This totally looked like a door. It had a lock here and I'm like, okay, it's open. Why isn't it open? But then I realized this little thing is to stick in here to keep your doors open for the bedroom, your pocket doors. And here we have a stackable washer and dryer made by Splendid. Okay. And one thing that's kind of interesting, it's that little uh, ledge up here. The cats would love being on the, the ledge up there. Cats oh, yeah. always like to be on higher places. Yeah, we can't be trying to dust that. Ugh. Okay. Wow, look at the covering. This is a one bid uh, tin bed with, it seems it has plenty of uh, access on both sides. Both uh, side. it's, it's not too bad. It's a little more on that bigger side. Than most. And uh, on yeah. the side here, we have uh, two USB ports on this side. And there is an outlet against the wall of the bed on the bottom there. So we have three individual cabinets here. And There's a light in the middle one. And it's access for a CPAP machine because it's got an outlet in there too. Now, one of the things I noticed that I find a little strange is your headboard is shorter than the bed. This is, looks like it's either a uh, uh, queen or maybe a full size headboard, but the bed is obviously a king size. So I got out this much space for the mattress. So I think this should have been brought out to here. Yeah. What's interesting is it says to Toach PAP station. It's that picture of a Dalmatian. Uh, just when the Dalmatians need a pap, a pap, see <laughs> pap, know. you know, I mean, it's just okay. kind of weird. Across the way where the TV is, we have a wardrobe on each side. I'll just open the one. We do I have... I don't think that actually has access, nothing. It does not. not no. Just wanted to make sure because there's space behind there. And we have sits identical drawers down here below. Uh-huh. And what's that they are? Soft clothes, or yes. semi-soft clothes. Well, let's see. We'll give a little more shove. See? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, just require a little more effort than yeah, usual. Yeah, but they are, they are some soft clothes. Okay, you don't see that too much. Okay, There's your we circuit do... panel box right here on the floor, and I'm not sure if that's a fuse panel or an access for a central vacuum. I don't like that way down there. You yeah. have to crawl on the floor. Like, even if you were kneeling, you'd be Well, I don't like it. the fact that it's down low at Tidson access and mess. And, you know, I know this doesn't happen, but if you have cats, our cats have learned to turn on the induction top stove. They are able to reach the panels on the light switches and turn the lights on in the middle of the night. They even have now learned to open up the bathroom door. First, we kind of accused each other of not shutting it, but so I, I hate things now where the cats can get it. We do have a step up into the bathroom. And that's about a six inch lip, I guess. Yeah, look at the shower. Well, let's, let's check out the shower. Okay, well, um, this is not good. Uh, and obviously, this is not so much a hazard, but it's, as you see here, I'm standing here, I have no 
uh, standing room really to enjoy the shower. There's the eighteen bar here. This shower is oh, I'm trying to grab this. This shower is a five out of ten. I think sports shows should do better, but I do like this nozzle. It's going to wet all your body at the same time. And this little bar here for holding your shampoo bottles is very handy. And it's got a little bit of a seat here. Let's so let's retry and see what it's like. Okay. Well, I have obviously plenty of room. Obviously, I put my elbows out. You can see uh, I can't get them all the way out, but it's sufficient. And see the shape life. Okay, this might be a little hard for me, but if I go kind of diagonally, I can kind of get there. It's a little hard, but again, yeah, this is great. I love this, and I wish every manufacturer would take note. Put a bar here so we can leave our shampoo in there when we are moving. One less thing to get ready. There is such a list to get ready. Okay, look at this vanity here with double sinks. It does have a medicine cabinet that goes all the way through. I like these lights are very bright. I like very that. bright, almost too bright for the camera. Yes, I like it though. Now interesting, this sink has these nozzles that are opposing each other. Most times you see a sink nozzle that's on the back here, so it's just definitely unusual yeah. to say the least. And we have a soap, sea salt. So here we have Two cabinets under the sink here. And another cabinet with two doors over on the side. All right, let's check out the there's two more cabinets over here. And oh. there's one over here, too. Okay, well, we'll do that one first. Okay, over here we have our linen closet, so to speak. Plenty of room for uh, your towels, extra sheets, and such. Plenty of room. And we have two additional cabinets over here. And we have, believe it or not, one more. Right over here. Yeah, these wow, shelves actually are adjustable. Three adjustable shelves. Yeah, very nice. I do see a toilet, I mean a hand towel holder, but I do not see any towel holders of any kind. Okay, well, so that's something probably Toachman can work on for, for the next design. Or certainly, you know, your owner can probably add that. But mm -hmm. thank you for watching this video. We hope you enjoyed it and got something out of it. And, help you make your decision whether or not you want to get this toach for you and your family. Uh, please drop us a, uh, a comment and like this video. Share it with your friends too. And also just give us some feedback as to this quality of this video. Anything that we can do to improve. And also I want to remind you to open the doors to adventure. And start all your journeys with the, the RV, RV Keys. Keys. Have a great day folks.